contenders in tonight's debate in Milwaukee include South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is also set to participate, but has a setback after hurting his Achilles tendon playing basketball with members of his campaign staff yesterday. He plans to have a practice walkthrough of the debate stage at some point tonight and then make a formal decision on if he can participate. Celeste Ford is live in Greenville after speaking with residents who plan to tune in for that debate. Celeste. Courtney and Dave, those eight candidates you just mentioned will take the stage tonight in hopes of winning the hearts and minds of American voters. Former President Donald Trump, the front runner in early national and state polls, will not attend the Republican presidential debate in Milwaukee. Political experts say his absence offers Republican rivals an opportunity to introduce themselves and talk about their own ideas for the future. ECU political science professor Dr. Jody Baumgartner says the debate won't have much of a negative impact on Trump's position in the presidential race. Tonight might be the opportunity for a couple of candidates who are really unknown to the American public. Eight candidates will be on stage, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President Mike Pence, former South Carolina Governor and U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley, and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Voter Dave Mason says he knows exactly what he would like the candidates to discuss. The, the economy, uh, what we're going to do in Ukraine, uh, and, and specifically, are the Republicans going to find themselves? Are they going to lose Trump and regain any of what they used to represent? Officials say some voters may be influenced by Trump's four criminal indictments that charge him with hoarding classified documents, conspiring to overturn the 2020 election, and making hush money payments to women. He's popular with a lot of people. That may be difficult for us to swallow, but that's the reality. And Courtney and Dave, officials say nearly half of the candidates have placed their criticism of Donald Trump at the center of their campaigns.